Streamliner by Adapter Audio is a comprehensive mastering plugin designed to optimize audio for digital streaming platforms. It features state-of-the-art metering tools for loudness, dynamics, and true peak levels, as well as codec auditioning to simulate how audio will sound when streamed. Streamliner offers A-B comparisons with reference tracks, automatic loudness matching, and the ability to export audio files in platform-specific codecs. This plugin lets you make informed mastering decisions by providing these features in an easy-to-use interface, ensuring your music sounds its best on Spotify, Apple Music, and many other platforms. Streamliner version 1.1 just released, and it includes some very exciting updates. Streamliner is Apple Silicon compatible with native plugins for M1 and M2 machines. The AAX works with the latest Pro Tools Silicon build. The UI has been optimized to accommodate the new features. You can now bypass settings in the center of the plugin window. Below this, you'll find a new toggle button. Use this to hide the codec panel and work with the meters only. Streamliner automatically switches to zero latency when you're in meters mode, which is ideal for tracking and mixing. The menu for the levels presets has moved over to the left side, above the meters. This makes sense because you still want to access the levels presets when you hide the codec section. There's a new preset category for broadcast and TVC. Adapter Audio has also updated podcast and music streaming platforms, including Spotify's three normalization tiers. There's a new transport button under the integrated LUFS meter. When this is active, the integrated LUFS metering will restart alongside the DAW transport. This is recommended as the default mode when mixing. If you don't want the meters running in the background, building up data for the histograms, you can reset the meters when the plugin window is closed. Select this option in the settings menu. The True Peak meter features a new digital display under the target value. The target range has increased to negative 12 decibels. We can use the Artifacts button to listen to the sonic artifacts produced by the encoder. This is known as the delta or difference between the original audio and the encoded version. When you audition a low quality codec such as a 32-bit MP3, the audio will be louder compared to when you use a superior quality codec with a higher bitrate. This is because there is more distortion with a low bitrate codec which produces more differences in signal, making it louder. You'll see this warning message if you try to click the artifacts button when the plugin is in low latency mode. Click OK to close the window. Then go to Settings and deselect Low Latency Mode. Now the Artifacts button will work as expected. Streamliner now supports M4A audio files on Windows. When using Sync Mode, you can now set a custom start position. Move the playback marker to where you want the reference track to start and click the clock icon. This sets playback to start at the current position on the timeline. Some DAWs, including Logic and WaveLab, do not broadcast the song position when the DAW transport is stationary. This can lead to problems setting the custom start point accurately. Streamliner now waits for the DAW transport to start to get a valid song position. If no valid song position is detected, Streamliner will display a message asking you to restart the DAW transport. This message will disappear as soon as the transport has started and the sync position is locked in. The export button is now located under the reference track. You can batch export all the codec profiles from the current platform preset with a single click. Select Export Current Preset from the menu. This will export the reference track through all the codec profiles for each platform and automatically rename them. If you set up your own platform preset, you can quickly convert the reference tracks to only the outputs you need. If you already own Streamliner, you can download version 1.1 using the PA Installation Manager on your computer. For those of you who don't own it yet, you can start a Mega Bundle trial using the link below to demo Streamliner and Plugin Alliance's other products for 30 days. Let us know what you think about the new update in the comments, and make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. For more plugin update videos, consider subscribing to the Plugin Alliance YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.